What's up YouTube? Poplar Mechanic here. Today we're back at the legendary tree. The weather's nice um, and we're going to be taking a look at uh, basic rigging and sort of the fundamentals of rigging. And I do have a fish scale with me today um, so we'll actually be able to see how um, different angles of rope uh, affects a rigging point. Let's get right into it. Right, guys so to start this off you can see we're hooked to this branch here okay this is going to be our rigging point um, so I've got the fish scale attached to the tree with a webbing sling I um, mean keep in mind this fish scale isn't deadly accurate or anything like that um, but it, it will show uh, the differences in weight so there's nothing on here in my hand I have a 10 pound uh, kettle ball so we're gonna go ahead and hang that in there and we should be somewhere roughly around 10 Okay, so it's showing nine and a half here, which is fine. Like I said, it's not deadly accurate. So that, that's the type of force if you were to hang um, a branch directly from this location. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to implement the rope and see what that does. Okay, guys, so we've set our fish scale back to zero. We're still hanging in the same spot. I just took some time to set up a porter app down there, which we'll be needing later. Okay. And now I've attached the kettle ball to this rope and we're going to go ahead and just lightly hang it here if I can. It's kind of tough with one hand. Okay, so now I've got the 10 pound kettle ball. It goes up through the fish hook and then down back into my hand which would represent a porter wrap. And let's go ahead and take a look at that weight. So like I said, this isn't deadly accurate, but this should roughly, roughly uh, double the weight on the rigging point. So now instead of this branch seeing five pounds of weight, um, or sorry, instead of 10 pounds of weight, it's seeing roughly 20 or 18 and a half on the scale, okay? Um, so if, you, if you're in a rigging situation, this is something to keep in mind, especially if you have a steep angle like that, because it's gonna put a lot of leverage on this branch that's sticking way out. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to implement the porter wrap and we're going to add a few webbing slings which will uh, you know be in place of rings or rigging blocks and we're going to see if we can reduce the force on this limb all right guys so now we've put the rope into the porter wrap so this would be a real rigging scenario we've got it going up um, through our rigging point and then the weights below and that puts us at 14 pounds so that lessens it so now we're going to add some slings and see if we can reduce the force okay guys so this is the same scenario except now we've added a ring or block or webbing sling to this section of the tree um, and what that does is help this to pull on the angle um, and reduces the leverage onto the rigging point here okay so we were at 14 and a half pounds as you can see there and right now this reduced uh, the the weight on the branch to ten and a half pounds so that's not the best method but it's still better than nothing it's better than running a rope straight from the like imagine if you were to run that rope straight to the end uh, the likelihood of you snapping branches during rigging um, would be greatly increased so definitely using the fishing pole effect they call it is an effective method all right guys so we've set up another scenario here here we've got the porter app um, and this would be the strongest system. Obviously, you could add some more rings here if if it if required, right? So we've got a high anchor point um, coming to a lower anchor point, um, and this is going to do a couple of things. So this has reduced the uh, weight. Sorry, you, it was at ten and a half before, okay, and now it's at nine. So it's not a great deal um, of reduction in weight. Obviously, you can get more complex with it. Most of the time, uh, it's not important. But another thing that this setup does, the reason this is strong is because you can see this V here, it's pulling in the direction that the branch is the strongest. So by having this upper rope higher, um, you're pulling where the wood's the strongest instead of levering it from the bottom where it's the weakest, okay? So this is one of the, one of the better ways to set up your rigging, if possible. If not, like I said, use the fishing pole. And the fishing pole is good for a couple different things. Sometimes um, if I'm really reaching for that last setup, for instance, because I want to get that height of that rigging point, I'll put another ring, you know, close or just below by, you know, four or five feet. And that way, if something were to fail here, this next one will take its place. So that's another handy thing about the fish pole. But uh, 
obviously you can see here if you've got a setup like this it's uh, definitely gonna strengthen your rigging point all right guys so in closing um i hope this video helped you if you're a newer climber i know a lot of the guys that have been doing it for years already know this stuff but it's actually pretty critical to know right you you could um seriously get injured or something if you're not implementing these tactics you know you don't have to use the fishing pole every time i mean obviously there's trees where boom you just set a block and you can rig the whole thing and i and i know those exist um but that's not what i'm saying i'm saying when you're getting into larger trees that are spanning out really far like the ones i'd be worried about um would be like these trees behind me cottonwoods it's very brittle wood um, and you're going to want to make sure you're rigging it correctly i would take the time take the time to rig it correctly and just another thing to keep in mind guys is even though the weight doubles when you put that initial rope through and uh, you know so obviously the weights already doubled onto your rigging point that's just something to keep in mind and then don't forget about dynamic forces so dynamic forces um, will greatly increase that weight that that limb seeing in the event of cutting it and letting it drop uh, so it's really important that you know what you're doing um, and next week we're going to do something on span rigging uh we'll probably use the fish scales again too uh, i get a lot of comments on tiktok and stuff like oh that's way too much rigging and uh you know it's that takes too long to set up i would have had the tree down it, it literally takes two seconds to show up uh to set up and i'm going to show you guys next week so i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time